seat you by the fire. Listen, listen. There's something I must confide. I know I said that it'd be fine. I know I made it look like it'd be alright. But I think I learned my lesson, and I'm not gonna let you out of my sight. You can call me killer, 'cause I'll bring you to the light. And it might taste bitter when your ribs are ripped to God. You can call me killer as you look into my eyes. Nothing but a sinner. You won't get away this time. You won't get away this time. Reefology 101 here. I'm gonna do a, a little update on Ashley's tank, her uh, 30 gallon tank. Right now she is aquascaping. Okay guys, so here's the re-cement. Um, it's saying to use, I believe, three to one ratios. Let's see if I can actually see where it said that. Or maybe I'm just making things up. Two minutes biting time. Okay, yes. It's um, three parts of the re-cement and one part water. Um, if you can read that, it's gonna zoom. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be um, three three parts one or three three to one ratio. Um, sets up in two minutes, so we have her stuff ready, and we gotta make sure we do this nice and fast. Um, and that's why we uh, went ahead and made made sure her uh, her rock formation was in place. Okay, guys. So as you can see, she got her aquascaping done. The cement wasn't the easiest, was it? not too thrilled about it but make sure they, there's enough light there you go this one I'm not happy with why because it like fell over and that's not originally where I wanted that big one why didn't you why'd you not tell me no because that's the only way that I could like put it on there for it to like stay once I saw how that cement was working Take it off if you don't like it. <laughs> yeah, that one is pretty cool. Really cool. Now I just gotta get you a bulkhead and a pump. And more water and a skimmer. The to do list. Um, gonna get a RODI unit, like I said, that way we can make our own water. Our own, our own RODI water. Pretty cool, cleared up pretty fast too. So, coming along. What's the next steps? Well, there's that, <laughs> but um, since we do have Eddie's sand, that's gonna start a, a little cycle. Um, we could even throw in maybe like a, a dead shrimp or like a shrimp from the store or something like that, just to get the cycle going. It's gotta, it's gonna start smelling a lot more before it gets better. So um, we have a small little cycle. Um, you have to boost some kind of ammonia a spike in there, and uh, everything will start growing. After a couple of weeks, we can put a, put a put a fish in there. No, it will live. <laughs> Jeez, no faith, no faith at all. It'll live. It's you just have to let the, the nitrogen cycle run its course. So. Yes, essentially. The circle of life. Okay guys, well, that's going to be the wrap of this. Uh, we'll keep you guys updated uh, on her update or on her tank. But uh, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel just so you can see the rest of her updates on her, uh, on her tank, along with my tank, uh, the 40 gallon uh, SPS tank. And uh, don't forget to like this video if you liked it. And uh, stay tuned. Happy reading, guys.